on uh, Brigida Jail for a decent amount of time. If he is able to swap to things like Afari, it could be absolutely devastating. He did get you yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He did get you yesterday, and it was a treat for a bit. Zebo team's getting ready to roll out here. We're on our first map, Oasis. Our control. Atlanta running the 3 3 with Gator on the Rhine. Pretty standard. And Envy actually not running quite that much of a standard composition. It's, it well, is 3 3, but the, they have Ellie vote on Hammond. Yeah, they've swapped out to Diva for the Hammond here. So it's going to make Saucy's life real easy, but it does give Envy more dive to say immediately. Get onto Bird and dispatch him. And that's kind of the power of the Hammond here. The Hammond's going to be able to give a lot more pressure onto the back line. See that early pick up onto Bird. They're going to continue to chase a little bit of cooldown usage here for Ellie vote. He's going to back up, though. Atlanta regrouping, getting ready to come back. They're not going to be able to stop point cap. It is burst control going the way of Envy. And that is the value of the Hammond, like we talked about, just having that backline pressure. The problem is for Envy is that while this is making their alt neutral fights better, when alts are up, they're significantly weaker. They can't contest grab in the same way, and they don't have bomb as a follow through. They don't. So a lot of this is going to be relying on these neutral fights to begin with and getting the mines early. Trill under heavy pressure was looking for a shatter, ends up falling instead. Envy down one early. Atlanta says, this is our fight. They use the barrier. They're just going to start rolling on in, and for Envy, they're stuck in a mode of delay here. They are stuck in a mode of delay, though, while having a Hammond delay is a lot easier, it's a lot stronger. We have this ball rolling around, even if it seals up. You see right now the pressure on the bird here once again. Is Bird going to be appealed for? Well, they are going to appeal for him. So Envy lose the point here now, Atlanta getting the swap. Trill just getting isolated, and part of the problem when we're not running this D.Va is that you don't have the Matrix to appeal for your front line or your back line. You don't have that mitigating damage to help push angles either. So definitely something to Envy. They made the swap now. Envy, yeah. And I mean, them going to the swap here makes sense just because I think they were just hoping to get an advantage early on, and they were always playing the swap after losing that first fight. Oh, you see the rally used. Now oh, the shatter catching two, three. Gator just opened up with a big one. Envy, though, able to stand. Trinsen's going to keep people reasonably well alive. Self-destruct. Flying right to the back here from Atlanta. Hawk taking down fire. Five on five, but it, it's Atlanta down the Reinhardt. This is going to give Drill a lot of room to work with as he moves forward. And Envy, more damage on the ground right now, forcing Atlanta back. Right now, they are going to be just beating up on point. Envy has control. There's so much pressure coming out. Crimzo getting two, getting three. Crimzo cleaning up here. And that bomb from Hawk almost, I, I almost saved the fight for Atlanta Academy. He was able to zone. It stopped him from Envy from falling up on Trill's Shatter. But at the end of the day, having that Reinhardt alive, having that barrier, all that fire, that focus fire with Trill means just better damage. Credit where Crows do, by the way. Elevote already building self-destruct, built it all within the span of one fight. So the swap to D.Va already back at a good spot. Sharp going to have grab towards the latter end of this fight if they slow play a bit, which Atlanta's probably going to have to. Atlanta doesn't have a lot to dive in. In fact, Elevote just drops self-destruct to the back, gets Saucy! Big raw bomb coming in from Elevote. You notice how Envy, they made sure to engage after the bubble was used. They saw the bubble go out. It was on to Gator, so when there's no when there's no ally bubble, even if Zarya still has self, you can feel much more confident in moving forward. They used the rally for Jaru as well to just make sure that Trill is not going to feel that pressure, not going to feel the spam damage, and he can move forward and give presence to him to maybe even get a bash off. So giving that one pick, winning the fight pretty convincingly. Envy in an excellent spot right now. He dropped the grab on early fight, force out the transcendence from Bird, and they used the barrier to dive in. That part's a little bit more risky to me. I don't think Envy had the ability to actually keep his people down during that. So instead, Atlanta now can take the fight back over to them. Trill, though, hanging back. Shatter at the ready. We are in overtime now, so final opportunity for Atlanta to take the round. Look at the shield pressure going in. Gonna be followed up by the Shatter from Trill, but it's not really in a good spot. Atlanta's able to get around it, and Atlanta's gonna retake. Atlanta got the bash. Sugar Free got the bash onto Trill. He lost Shatter. They're putting so much presence onto Gator. They're waiting for the shield to break. In fact, using the beat in that earlier grab, I think their whole goal is just to continue to build ult and put shield pressure onto Gator early on. But then Sugar Free, he made sure that there was not going to be a Shatter for Trill. Counter Shatter from Gator following up. Atlanta flipping the point. So you take a look at Envy. They're going to be heading back over. They have about two fights here to flip. But it might only be one if they're not swift and moving in here. I have to imagine that they realize that. And they're going to be looking to take the fight right now. But again, they just have to be careful. Win or die quick. They ha Yeah, they need to win or die very quick because Atlanta has combo. They have trans. They don't really have to be old here. They're hoping to get value out of this rally. They do. They force the trans very early. Drop 10 in from Saucy. Elevote. We lose back pretty early. Self-destruct flared on in. Atlanta in a pretty good spot to take this fight now. I mean, Elvote possibly did get mech back, but Envy, the problem is Trill's down and they don't really have time for another fight. They have to stay in. Oh, they and have they to just keep waited way alive. too long. They needed to reset. They don't do it. 
And as a result, it's looking like Atlanta's gonna take round one. This is 100% round one for Atlanta. Envy may be playing their old game a little bit recklessly with that beat that was invested from Fire. I'm sure they would have loved to have it for that fight. Because like you talked about earlier, there was no real reason necessarily to invest the beat there to follow up on a grab you're not gonna kill. You didn't have bomb. No. Sure, you'll build other ults in the process, but you're going to be behind him with your most important ult to survive that combo, to survive that post fight. The other part of there, too, is that... So, I mean, Envy did win the ult neutral fight pretty decisively with the Hammond, but the problem is, is that Hammond is so much weaker than D.Va. Once you start getting ults into the fray, that Envy basically made a deal with the devil there, saying, okay, we're going to get point A, but we're almost guaranteed to lose the point later on and have to rebuild and come on back, so... It was kind of a, it's an interesting choice, but you know, imagine if they just went with a normal 3-3 and then won first fight. It is risky. So Envy moving out of here. It's off here again. Atlanta picking up the first round here for Oasis. Mirrors, 3-3s three for both sides. No Hammond out for Envy this time. Envy actually moving up the jump pad, going to take this high ground first. Envy hanging on top. Atlanta going to be holding a bit back here. Neither team committing too heavily here just yet here in the city center. And city center, it's a difficult one where if you lose first fight, getting back in can be so dangerous. So teams are a little bit more hesitant early on. Good match, shield pressure though. Starting to hit on the Gator. Trill, that's a little bit of weakness. Diving on in. Gator, getting very low. Gonna get taken down. And now Envy, they can just slow this down a bit. Start moving forward, dealing with Atlanta that no longer has a run in the front line. This out. They're going to be trying to pick up Saucy. The armor pack goes onto him, but they need to get Saucy. He is going to die finally in the end. Sugar Free investing the rally, picking up Trill in return. It's going to come. It's going to force him to actually use two support ults. They're layering support ults here, not only investing Trance, but the rally of their own. Trance and it's in here from Atlanta. They're fighting tooth and nail. Don't want to give this up. Gator, of course, back into the fight. And again, these city center fights lasting a while early on. Not a big surprise. Hawk, bomb to the top. Just going to be making a bit of space. And Dean backs on out. Shatter! In from Gator, knocks down three. And we're gonna see if the fall through there. No, not in the least. Sharp drops a grab, and it's a protective grab that causes two to fall. This is an extremely long first fight, but it all hinged upon Sharp. Sharp getting that grab first, having it up before Saucy, partially because of that early pick on the Saucy, was huge. It was key. Because we see the value of having a grab not always to initiate, but to protect your own team. When a fight when a shatter like Gator just dropped, because it did catch many members of Envy, having the gravel up and no trance was, was huge for them. And getting first control again on City Center, very big deal in particular, just because, again, fully removing a team from the point, easier said than done here. Envy working with plenty of ults in reserve at the moment. They won't even have to double support ult this necessarily because there's no bomb Hawk used in that fight. It's only Saucy's grab. Sharp right now, hanging back. And it's up to Atlanta to make a move here. Envy at some point, if they see something they like, you know, they may invest two or three ults, but end of it here, they're in control. We see the rally come out here. First grab out here from Lana. Response, transcendence in from Envy. And Envy again, taking their time, eventually poking down Hawk. And advantage in their favor. Atlanta gonna try and take the fight four towards them. Even down Hawk, they charge on end, but Sharp, once more. Defensive grab gonna be used. Pulls everyone in. Trill actually falling during that. Taking too much damage. Shatter in from Gator, and the Shatter knocks down three to the back, and Atlanta actually doing enough here to potentially retake. That, the Gator, first of all, Gator Shatters have been extremely attacked so far on Oasis, hitting huge Shatters over and over. And secondly, Trill got uh, a little unfortunate there with the with the knockback. He got counter, he got charged by Gator, whose shield was broken from the bomb, and he tries to drop the Shatter, gets dropped in the air, doesn't really get anything from it. A lot of Gator gets set up, so Atlanta just winning the war overall with their ults, and Gator having a much better Shatter. Fire also dropped his beat too late to save Trill, which is a huge miscommunication there. So, Envy heading back over. Still a pretty good start. 66% to them here. Gives them a bit of buffer for the next fight, where both teams, frankly, a bit drained. Hawk and Gator, though. Shatter, self-destruct all up. Envy taking their time, self-destruct. Used pretty early here from Hawk, straight to the back. Gets Crimzo! Crimzo! Couldn't really get away from that one, and Atlanta, off the bomb, gonna be forcing Envy directly off the point. I like the combo there. I like using it to win the fight straight up. But now Atlanta are in another position where they have grab, but they don't have bomb for the combo. They don't have anything to necessarily burst immediately through Crimson's Transcendence. They're gonna have to look to set up, you know, charges, maybe get the pick from the pin. Uh, in the end, though, I think it's still okay, right? Because worst case scenario, you're just trading out grab for Transcendence. 
it's not too, too bad here for Atlanta. That's probably going to be exactly what happens here. The problem is, of course, MV getting close to a grab bomb of their own, so they're going to have a bit more heavy artillery as the fight starts getting to play, but it's all even up, 66 to 66. Yeah, their old track has been up point here. They might even just use Sugar Free Rally to try to force them in early. See Jaru, Sugar Free both trading those rallies out. Rallies in for both sides. Graviton, used from Saucy. Just going to be putting Trill in here, and Trill, well protected, transcendent to keep him on up. Now he looks to Sharp. Graviton ready. Elbow waiting for the spots right after. Sharp drops the grab. Here comes Elbow. He's going to drop the self-destruct right over to the back. And the shield, not there for Funny Astro. He ends up falling to the bomb, and Envy likely have done enough damage now to make this fight their own. They definitely have this is now happening. They had to invest a lot of ults, had to invest the combo here again. But that's fine. Crimson will be building up another trance as the push gets cleaned up. Sharp currently ahead of the grab war. Good setup there. Setting up on the corner of the little middle hut area of the point, and then having Hawk actually drop the bomb from the opposite side rather than directly through. So Atlanta... Or Ellie Boat, I should say, not yeah. Hawk. Atlanta's still in a really good spot here, though. It's one fight territory as they move in. Still eminently winnable the ult they have on the board. Sure, it might go in overtime, but again, this fight here again decided off of this round. If Atlanta wins, first map gonna beat to them. Shatter in early from Gator, and again, knocking down Ellie Boat early. Shatter the other way, not so much bigger! That's a good ult trill. I don't think I would Not only that. was it bigger, it interrupted Funny Astro. He lost beat because of it. Huge ult from Trill. Well, you know, there's a copy pasta for that, and Envy says, you know what, we're going to be going over to round three. We're not going to let this end here just yet. And all right, this is shaping up to be a pretty good grand finals. That's 1-1 one, one tied up on Oasis. Envy picking up City Center there. Now we're going to be moving in. It's going to be, so we've done Gardens. We have City Center says University. It's going to be our final round for Oasis. Very 3-3 three, three heavy map. Envy seems most comfortable when they can trade out their ults a little earlier and then set up their combos. Atlanta are having a little bit of trouble setting up their own. Both teams are getting ready to move out. Getting ready to get us up here on University. It is 1-1 on Oasis. And it's also going to be the mirror matchup here once again. Mirror matchup in play. Both of these teams. The Envy versus Atlanta. And thus far, I mean, it's lived up to the billing where Atlanta, we, we kind of knew coming in that they would still be able to give Envy a bit of a fight. Envy, though, looking pretty good, especially now that they haven't done anything crazy like swapping Hammond in the very beginning. Which is getting to it early on, and already Trill is down. Trill is down, a much better focus fire. The bubble is burned through. Atlanta, they're controlling. They're just gonna try to play with Gator Shield, try to get the better focus. He's funny, funny Astro picking up Sharp. And with that, the damage is done. There is not a lot of frontline pressure for the NV, so they're going to have to back up here and give up the first control to Atlanta. So, NV. Ooh, Crimson, if we get down Bird. Oh, that's so huge. NV's end, it just buys not only time here, but NV can roll in with the 6v5. This is going to make for a very, very good recontest. Yeah, there's no ults really up for Atlanta Academy either. They're going to have to bow back, but I don't think they're going to be able to because look at this pressure, but Funny Astro takes Sharp again. Oh, Sharp might be down, but so is Gator. Trill able to make it worthwhile. Trill with two off into the side. The room of death on the left. And Envy, as a result, should be able to recap this. They will. They'll definitely retake it now. Trill getting so many frags there. Even with Sharp going down, that initial damage onto the front line for Atlanta from Envy is just huge. You can't come back when you have that little health pool and you're down this end. Well, not only that, you take a look at Envy off of that. Because of the early pickoff and how decisive the fight was, they're just absolutely set for the next fight. They're set in more ways than one because it's not just the ult economy. Hawk invested bomb. Hawk invested bomb in the fight, so they don't have to worry about combo. Assuming that fire doesn't have beat. Well, we're going to see Trill under a bit of pressure here early. Holding back into the pit! Big power play opportunity for Atlanta. You get the right into the pit, you can dive into the other side. But instead, they're going to hold it on back. They decide not to crazy dive in. Instead, they're trying to look for Trill. And that's just coming back up, but grabs on in one side. Bomb in on the other. Elvo able to find Gator. Envy, able to work the way back out was a very tough situation. And you see Atlanta, they don't get many goals in this fight. Looks like they're going to have to because at this rate, if they don't win it, their ult economy is going to be in shambles. Well, I got news for you. Atlanta's ult economy, it's going to be in shambles. It is going to be in yeah. shambles. Probably overcommitted to this fight right now. Envy going to try to chase these stagger frags. Atlanta backing up now. The boop goes in on the troll early, and Atlanta couldn't find any openings there. They couldn't find exactly who they wanted to grab because they didn't have Shatter. It wasn't easy to substitute If he had Shatter, it was an easy choice, right? Walk forward, drop the Shatter. But they didn't have it up. And then they were very split. They lose Gator early to the bomb. He was so hurt. And from there, Envy just had the much better focus. 
And Envy be holding back. Trail holding on to Shatter. And again, Atlanta's gone for the heavy focus fire early on. Bomb directly moving in, giving shield away. Bomb is going on, Hawk dies! Hawk can't get back in the mech. Yellow vote chases him down in the middle of that there. So it's still a man advantage to Envy. And you guys are wounded. It's not going to be enough for Atlanta. The bomb play, not worthwhile if you're going to lose Hawk in the process. Incredibly smart play from Elegoat though, recognizing that when the bomb's out, Hawk's not in mech, obviously. So he goes to the back, he hunts him down in baby demon form, removes him from the fight. So Pilot Diva being removed there. Envy on the verge of taking map one, striking first here in our grand final. Combo We're in overtime. Up. Final opportunity here for Atlanta in the map. Graviton be used early, self-destruct. Hang right to the next wall, but a special takes down three. And that's gonna be Envy striking first here in our first of four. Atlanta gonna fall here on Oasis. Elevote making some key plays there on University on that last round for Oasis. You don't see that happen too often. And I've talked about previously how I love when Divas play off angles. What's also important for Divas, especially when you look at the bomb fight, is you can be the baby Diva assassin. You can <laughs> actually hunt them when you know that combo's out, remove him from the fight because you, you're pretty yeah. squishy. You're a pretty low HP target. And that's exactly what Elevote did. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those heads up plays where, you know, who better than the weakness of a Diva player than another Diva? And with given how much Hawk usually does for Atlanta, it's just a very intelligent play. And, you know, we talk about roster changes. One thing we didn't mention for Envy, of course, is that they had to do without McGravy, a very, very good off-tank player. And instead, they decided, you know, we're going to bring an Elevote. And I don't think they've really missed a beat here. I think McGravy is still a very excellent player, but Elevote has filled the shoes that were left in a very convincing way. He has. He's been, he's been an impact player. He's also shown some flexibility mm -hmm. as well. I mean, we literally saw him on Hammond earlier in that map. Uh, so a flexible player, a good addition to the roster overall. Sharp has remained more consistent, I think, too. He's been not only continuing to build grabs like a madman, which is pretty <laughs> consistent with incredible DPS players like Sharp is, but now he's not throwing them away. And that's the real problem. You have plenty of DPS players that have build grabs really fast, but they throw mm. them away. And when you're consistent and don't lose them, you're a huge impact player. And Sharp is was outbuilding Saucy, I think. Yeah, I mean, also, it's been a long journey for Sharp, if you think about it, where Sharp, you go back to contender season one of last year, who was Sharp? Sharp was basically a Tracer one trick. A very, very good Tracer one trick, but not someone who had a lot of meaningful experience with heroes like Zarya. And this meta, it's kind of broken down and reformed DPS players saying, well, you don't get to play Tracer in every map in every situation. And we've seen Sharp go from, you know, the classic DPS Zarya, as we've coined it, where they do a lot of damage, but bad shields and, you know, not great grabs to a much more complete Zarya player. So it's been good to see Sharp's evolution over time. It's important to note because then it means that mm. a player, a player's potential is being wasted. It means the coaching staff is actually having a performance, having an impact on those players where meta shifts can be volatile and it can change a player's performance drastically because you have to learn a whole new hero, a whole new play style. So it's great where you can look at a player and see evolution and see where, mm. you know, coaching obviously does come into play. Yep. But we're going to be getting into second map here. Remember, this is first of four grand finals, Envy versus Atlanta winner of the series goes to the Atlantic showdown later in the year. And remember, even if the Atlanta say does lose this matchup, they're not done. They still get another chance later today. They do get that runoff match a little bit later today. As we get ready to get into our hybrid into Eichenwald. Obviously, Atlanta looking to equalize it. And Atlanta, when we judge them, not just based on the map, but when we judge them off the whole season performance. Hmm. What's extremely important for them is enabling Gator, is having Gator continue to make huge moments. He was hitting great shatters, but the follow-up just wasn't there because Ibby's counterplay was very strong. So Atlanta have to be watching for those moments. They need to be making sure that they are not losing Bird. Bird is not losing the Zen War because that very rarely happens. We've seen Bird make some huge picks for them. And in return, in that last map, we saw Crimson actually getting the counter picks. And any time a Zen takes out another Zen, it's easy to look at and go, oh, it's just a one-off. But it really does change the entire dynamic of alt economy for the game. It's a full free fight. It's about a minute off the time bank, you know, in that sort of situation or in control, it's a good, like, 20%. It's just big, all in all. But we're going to get into it here on Eichenwald. It's going to be Envy here in the attack first. Atlanta on the defense. Both teams looking towards 3-3. But Atlanta perhaps fearing a DPS setup there with the Ana. Even if they weren't necessarily fearing the DPS setup, we have seen a lot more teams run Ana for the defense, especially for these hybrids and control maps. Well, for now, both teams trading out back and forth. And the, neither team getting a huge edge of Pokemon, but Sugarfree just got 
scarily low. I think that was Crimzo just landing a pretty good right click off to the other side. But look at this displacement going in here. Elbow is in an absolutely terrible position. Gonna get Dmax. What's going on? Sugar Free down on the other side. It's getting pretty bloody here. And Sugar Free, take a look at this. It's Charu who's built an incredibly quick rally. And Crimzo walking in, walking into that. Area taking out Bird. You see Saucy and Hawk getting some counter frags, but Envy, they're in control of the point. They still have Troll alive. And when the fight breaks down, great. Bird got Nano, but he wasn't able to get it onto Gator in time. Sugar Free being isolated there, getting caught by Sharp. Really huge. The big turning point to me there is just how quick Jaru got Rally, where as soon as they got Rally, Envy went from casually holding back and both teams kind of even poke to Envy just steamrolling through Atlanta. Well, it's also the value of not only having the rally, but Sugar Free's dead. Yeah. They engage once Sugar Free's down as well, so there's no bash, there's no armor pack. He was close to the rally of his own, so they didn't have a huge amount of counterplay without the nano, but Gator was already down, wasn't able to get onto him. So Envy looking forward, looking to move forward. I imagine they'll look to set up a shatter. And it's a quick time through point A as well. Five minutes. This is where you can potentially speed run Eichenwald to a bit, especially if you can get through the second choke point here. Both teams back and forth, Trill getting into it. Eating quite a bit of damage here. Knocked back, knocked back. Perhaps saving him. Now he's stuck in the ground, but drops the shatter to the other side. Sugar Free on the ground, gonna get displaced. Transcendence in from Envy, they bring it the other way. They use the grab, they just use it to go for D.Va here. Are they gonna be able to finish off? They do, Hawk out of the fight, but so is Trill. Shatter, back the other way, Gator dropping it. As Trill is out of the fight. And this looking even on both ends, but the later beat from Envy. Letting them start to flip it the other way. Sugar Free's gonna fall and Envy, they take the fight. Uh, Envy not necessarily getting the most value out of all their ults, but because they still had the overall ult economy like difference, they could just afford to use it much more cheaper, much more cheaply, not cheaper. We gotta use our grammar here, very important, much more cheaply. Mm. And in addition, they're closer to spawn. So dropping those early frags, because based off that charge which Gator was able to get a trill, it's fine because they're gonna get to the fight much closer. Atlanta resetting here, they have double support alt in reserve, but Envy, this is the moment here where we've seen Elva more than willing to just drop a raw Diva Bomb, and this is a pretty good spot for it. There's it not as much cover for it as there are in other areas of map. I think Elva's gonna let this fly. See, the beat actually was aggressive from Atlanta. They're over the bridge, yeah. they're walking into them. Oh, Jaru, he's down, he can focus down even with the rally. Yeah, they just dive in the Jaro, they remove immediately. Now it's a five on six, and I don't think Envy's too willing to throw other things out here. I think they're just gonna hide back. Hope that Atlanta maybe throws in someone for free, but Crimson being down, now it's time to reset. A little bit indecisive for Envy there. I like Atlanta's decision to just use the beat to walk into them, force the fight, but they did make a, you know, a key mistake in that now you don't have beat in the upcoming combo that Envy will indeed have. So how do you work on mitigating that? How do you split? You need to play a little split. You need to save your bubbles, make sure Gator has that barrier health very healthy to block that bomb. It'd be very important to watch that setup. Well, not only in terms of looking the block setups here, but again, you have to be looking towards Sharp where you don't want the old classic of Graviton into Charge on the Rhine right into Bomb, which Envy's pretty good at setting up between Trill, Elevote, and Sharp. So both teams setting up again, and you got to look towards Sharp. Sharp going to be a key factor right now. While Funny Astro does not have that beat, there is no beat to save them from the Bomb, to save them from the Bomb. So it's all about the setup. I think about the setup, both teams just poking. They're poking, they're poking. The shield pressure. And right now, Gator's taking a bit more shield pressure than Envy on the other side. Envy very much playing the shield game. And whoa, Shatter in as the shield goes down. They're all dead. self the right to the back, and no, they're not all dead. Somehow still alive. Hawk down. Envy, though, they walk him in. They know there's blood in the water. They use the barrier. They dive directly into Atlanta. The grab on the other side, perhaps buying a little bit of breathing room. Atlanta somehow still in the spike with Saucy down. It's starting to get real bloody here. He just dropped his second kick. Shatter. He just dropped his second Shatter, ZP. Dropped it, opened up the fight. I, I Honestly, a miracle that all of Atlanta didn't just die from the bomb. Maybe the bomb, it was like shocked. Ellie Bill was probably just shocked. Like, wow, he just hit everyone. Everyone's on the ground. <laughs> I need to drop the bomb right now. But they're able to get up in time. The barriers were up in time for Atlanta. But Drill just farmed another one, dropped it, secured the fight. And going into that too, I mean, you just saw Envy's strategy there where they're holding back. They were only worried about just ruining Gator's shield. Definitely. As you see, Atlanta, they've moved forward. They will have the beat up again soon. The rest of their ults invest in that fight, though. So just holding the corner of the bomb. out self the again. That's a set play from Elvote. Directed to back. It's two. Envy off the set bomb from Elvote. Going to be easily getting through the deeper power point scene. Remember, two minutes and 43 seconds. This is very, very quick for Eichenwald. I, I think you've, na you've nailed down the strategy very like one of their key strategies for Envy very well in that last, when we look at that last fight. The shield pressure bomb combo, 
it is really Envy's bread and butter right now. Yeah, and it, it makes things difficult for Gator because if they're not able to win the Shield Pressure War, there's not much you can do. The rest of Envy's holding back. They're gonna go for a raw bomb of their own directly in, but it's shielded off. The shield for Trill's still totally fine. Graviton in from Sharp. Trill looking for it, drops the shower, gets so many off the shatter, four on the ground. And Sugar Free, unable to withstand. Transcends from Bird coming out a little bit late. But Envy, they can now just counter transcend, push back the other way. And they might have to here. The shatter comes in from Gator, but there's no fall through. Gator is dead. They don't, they don't even have to transit the trans that shatter. The, the focus bar actually more viable having that discord going out, but Crypto dies. He gets picked. It should still be okay. But this is actually very, very losable now. No, it's not. Well, no, it's, it might be. The, the Hammond's coming on in. Hammond's and, out, but with the bomb, it's going to be tough. They have to find another pick. They, they need to find another pick. Get the way away from it. I, I don't think this is likely for Atlanta, but they could stall for a little bit longer. Diva. A bit of danger here. Trill dropping the shatter. Goal is just get everyone off the payload. Move away. And even with the delay, Envy sets a pretty good time here. Envy sets a great time. Their bread and butter combo of that shield pressure diva bomb with Ellie vote. Getting tons of value. Getting tons of value. Trill continuing to just drop mad shatters. Huge shatters. And I think you have to give quite a bit of credit to Elvote here in his setups, right? Where not every diva goes for this playstyle. In fact, I'd argue in recent times, it's kind of become a, you know, a sort of a relic of the past to the extent, not that it's still not good, but you just don't see it as often, is that Elvote is making sure to go to areas that he's clearly practiced, where it's not uncommon for divas to, you know, go into a server on their own and go, okay, let's look for good diva bombs. And what you're seeing for Elvote is that he will be off the field of play. And while he's doing that, he's just setting up for a bomb once the shield pressure is hit in a certain point. And there's no better example of that than the end of point C, where he just went up to the rafters, set the bomb in a great spot for just maximum coverage, and off the shield pressure, just did so much. So Envy securing the third cap with time to spare. And Eichenwald is a tough map to put full push. It's a very tough map. We've seen teams get held often, not getting that last point. Not only not getting the last point, maybe even get held on the bridge. So we move forward. Crimson gonna be on the Ana here in return for that defense, gonna try to make a similar strategy happen like Atlanta did for their first defense. So not too surprising. And we've seen teams really hedge their bets more. And as you had mentioned before, it's not that Ana is bad here even against 3-3. We've seen Ana do really well, but it's also the entire part that Ana just gives you more flexibility if you do deal with, say, a random fire otherwise. Crimson going for the set nade. Not that there's gonna be a ton of fall through on it, but if it hits, it's good old building. What's going to do? It does it. two. Catches two. I mean, it'll delay them a tiny bit, but the Atlanta, there's no pressure, so they can move forward to it. Not feeling too, too scared there. They are going to be moving towards the point. You see this rotation move towards the tank side on the right of the point. So, pressure coming in on both sides. Envy taking a little bit more here. Atlanta certainly feeling a bit of time pressure as they move in. But again, look at the pressure on the Gator Shield right now. Most of Envy's focus fire is going directly to Gator Shield. But on the same note, Trill dealing under the gun as well. Both Reinhardt's under very heavy pressure here. Here, Sleep Dart on the way out, and it's gonna be Sugar Free ending up falling here. Envy able to punish him as he went a little bit in, and just better poke from Envy. Trill dropping the shadow there again at that fight. Set up from, from all that shield pressure, set up also from Sugar Free going a little too deep. Try to get the bash off and dies in return. So they win the first fight. They have Nano up here. And Envy, they're in a rough position in that their goal is to keep themselves alive. As you see the Transcendence is up, the Shatter is going to be up for Gator. Sharp outbuilding Saucy there again. But it's close enough to where it won't make a huge difference. Envy have two choices, whether they want to weather the storm with the Nano or engage with the Nano and force those ones. I personally think they're going to engage with the Nano pretty early here. And yeah, they, they use the Nano directly, but on the same note, Gator just drops the Shatter. Trill down super early in the fight. And I guess they're going to go for it here. They're going to go for the Grav Bomb. See if it gets what they're looking for. No, uh, not quite. Uh, they de mech Hawk, but it's nowhere near enough. And you just see the weakness of Ana here to a team that has Transcendence. Transcendence is definitely making uh, a big difference in terms of their survivability. But when I look at the crux of that fight, I see Trill getting shattered. I see the Shatter getting set up for Gator even while the Nano is out. That's Gator recognizing that a Nano Ryan likes to swing. A Nano Ryan <laughs> likes to be aggressive. They don't like to hold right click too much and be a big rectangle man. When they're when they're you know all when they're all blue, so the ideals. Well, I guess it's green in their case because they're looking green. It's their skin color. But the ideal scenario is they're looking to still get damage from Nano. So just a point of that. Envy deciding to take this super aggressively here at the gate. 
was walking back over. They used the beat early, but they get precious little out of it. Meanwhile, Atlanta looking pretty well set here. They can rally, bring it the other way. Another shatter out from Gator, and Gator is just making this game his own. Gator getting some counter shatters. He saw Trills. He saw Trill dropping the big shatters. The copy pasta's coming out. And he's like, what about me? Where's my copy pasta? Getting the return I, shatters there. And I actually think that Envy's engage there is fine, considering that now they have to wait for the door to open. They traded beats with Funny Astro, and they got the shadow out of Gator. And the rally from Trigger Free. So not a bad engage, really. No, not not bad in the least. And Atlanta saying a pretty decent time here. It's not as fast as Envy. I mean, Envy got here with about five minutes remaining. Atlanta about a minute and a half behind. And all oh, bird strikes! Crimzo down! Such a huge pickoff for this next fight. Shatter in from Trill. Knocks down Hawk pretty early, but the transcendence from Bird should be able to mitigate quite a bit. The problem is, Envy has the grab. They're gonna use the raw bomb from Elevo. They've taken down Bird. This is still winnable for Envy. Elevo just wind surfed out of that engagement with the bomb. He's back. There's gonna be the defensive bomb for Hawk. Trying to follow up does not get very much. So much stall coming out for Envy. Look at the shield pressure right now. Gator is in a world of hurt. Sorry, just having the bubble. And Envy, they will not be denied. They just dive in. They actually ignore Gator and go to the other side. They take down two. Envy, somehow, despite the early pick from Bird, they turn that back in their favor. Not just the early pick from Bird, but what I thought was going to be a much... Or like they were, I thought they were using just wasting ults. Because Ellie Boat gets D-Mech, uses bomb, already has another bomb. I think D-Mech is surfing out of there. So Atlanta gonna have to re-enter this fight. They're gonna have to now work up the hill, 6v6, and they don't have a clear ult economy advantage either. And Envy also just way ahead in time bank now relative to where Atlanta was here. Bomb gonna be used here early again from Elvote. It's a set bomb over the top. Not gonna get exactly what he's looking for. Instead, it's Hawk on the other side, chasing down Crimzo. Three, make it four now for Atlanta. And that's gonna set them up one fight away from breaching the gates, and getting into point C. Envy have to be so happy with this fight though. Their, their stalls on second, on point B, have been incredible. They're moving back in now where there's no shatter, there's no rally, there, and you should know there's not a Zarya ult up just yet. Sharp is gonna have the advantage there as well. They can enter here for free as long as Hawk is denied value. Atlanta trying to hold directly at the gates. Hawk going for the bomb directly to the gate. I can't get exactly what he's looking for. Sharp used to grab pretty early, force out the transcendence, and oh boy, people are be heading on down. Jaru knocks Bird directly. Into the river below, Trill though. The fight, five on five. Until anyone's fight, Gravaton in later here from Saucy. Bring Envy in a bit more of a bind. They have Transcendence in response. And both teams still very much in it, but with Gator getting focused down as the fight degenerates. It's now looking like a fight that Envy can start bringing back. Elbow just dropping the bomb on the side. The shield damage puts Atlanta a bit further back. Another reset there, and that's going to be Envy holding on point B for now. Bird zoomed back in on Hammond to try to recontest, and then just immediately goes off the map, recognizing the fight is done. Envy's ult usage here has been much better than Atlanta's overall. That er The early picks are really not making a huge difference. Their focus fire is still being very key. Crimzo holding that trance to the last moment, just waiting and waiting for Saucy's grab, and Sharp has built another grab. Bird will have zero transcendence. That swap from Bird is really going to come back to bite them. Atlanta, they're down to under a minute here. About to be down 0-2. And, and this fight just doesn't look very good for them. No, they're going to have to look to get in from these brutal choke points that are close once you get to this point, this second bridge to point B. And they won't have any ult economy. Well, Sharp's going to open up the grab, and there's no transcendence walking through that door. Nothing to prevent Saucy from just getting immediately destroyed. The only upside here for Atlanta is that it's a quick fight. They can head back in, but the own situation still isn't going to be very good for them. Hawk has to be the savior. Hawk's going to have to be the savior for Atlanta. There's no grab, so it doesn't have to worry about eats. But the bomb. This bomb is going to be key in not only putting her onto Trill, but zoning the rest of Envy because Atlanta have no support ults to enter the point cleanly. Final six seconds. Envy, they don't need to make a mistake here. I'm going super crazy trying to get them off the payload. They should realize they have an advantage. Hawk holding back. Self destruct ready, goes for the raw bomb as expected, directly into the back line, answered by the beat. Envy doesn't want to mess around or take any risks there. Funny Astro just whip shot it off. The and shatter no beat now. And now, oh, he almost knocked off. This is looking very good for Envy. They're up one. And now, good look here. See Hawk going up and down repeatedly. Drill out of the fight, but here comes Elvo. His bomb's been so big here so far. The boop is out, and Elvo takes down Saucy with the bomb. Yeah, Funny Astro, he's coming. He's zooming back to drop the beat with the boop there again. Fire doing so much on the bridge. Funny Astro dying because of Jaru's flail as well. 
not having the beat in that fight, not having a Lucio to zone, to set up bombs, move players with boobs, so crucial. And Envy, just looking good across the board there where, you know, we talk about the time heading on in. From start to finish, not only did they have a much quicker attack, but there is never any point in this map where Atlanta could think, okay, we've, we've brought it even. Their attack was slower on all accounts. They were losing out, out neutral fights pretty decisively all in all. And, you know, right now, I'd say the biggest problem that they have is that Gator's very good, especially as fights uh, get into more melee range, but Envy isn't even giving him the chance. They're just going out of their way to say, eh, we're going to break shield and go from there. Gator's value has been very, was very low in Icon Vault. No. Very low in Icon Vault. Hawk as well just was not getting nearly the level of pressure of bomb combos that Ellie Vote was. And Sharp has continued into the next map to outbuild you know, Saucy at every point. So there has to be something with the front line there. There has to be some adjustments made to enable Gator a lot more and make sure they're not losing those overall damage wars. Certainly agreed. Well, it is halftime. Envy is two mapped away from being your champions and getting that berth to the Atlantic Showdown. Will Atlanta, runners up from last season, be able to respond and take the series distance? We're going to find out in just a few moments.